All morning long, we've been talking about the potential for severe thunderstorms and the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted our area and especially to the north and west over northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin for severe weather. A three, that orange shading that you see just to our north and west locally though, that threat is a two on that one to five scale. Large hail, wind, and even an isolated tornado. I'll break down those threats just a bit more specifically here in a moment. As we go into tomorrow morning, especially that threat begins to shift to our south. The green there indicative of a one on that one to five scale, a marginal risk for an isolated severe storm or two. Let's again break down the severe potential here. High winds by far are the biggest concern. However, large hail is a very close second up to an inch in diameter. And what's non-zero here or a small potential is that risk for an isolated tornado. Now the dynamics of the atmosphere are a little bit best set up for tornado development to our north and west over Iowa. Flooding though, localized can't be entirely ruled out. I know it's been very, very dry, but if we get an inch or two in a very short amount of time, that's going to pose some issues. Now that threat comes in later tonight, but even early this morning, we could have a few scattered showers and storms make their way into far northern Illinois. Right now, temperatures are in the middle 50s, so we've got a pretty stable environment, which is why I don't think those storms will be able to manifest very much locally until later on tonight. Let's show you that here using future track as we go into the next couple of hours. Notice where the showers and again, maybe a rumble or two of thunder are possible here by 8 a.m. into the noon hour we go. Mostly sunny skies. Again, this sets the environment up for that potential for strong storms. As we get into the midnight hour or close to it, we see that line of thunderstorms moving into our area and we'll see rounds of showers and storms into your early tomorrow morning. So make sure you've got a way to get those weather notifications, especially while you're asleep. Today, 92 will have plenty of heat and plenty of instability for those storms to feed on later tonight. As we go into the evening hours, again, temperatures fall back into the low 70s. Thunderstorms likely, some of which could be strong to severe again. 6 p.m. to midnight, north and west of us in Rockford, so this does include Freeport, Galena, as well far northwest Winnebago. 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., that's the thunderstorm timing. This is the entire window, not the onset of thunderstorms from beginning to end of that severe threat. And then 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., a little closer to Chicago. As we take a look at your most accurate 10 day forecast, you see those showers and thunderstorms tonight into tomorrow morning. We also have another round of showers and storms possible for Father's Day. A 40% chance at this point doesn't look to be, you know, kind of a total washout, but just keep in mind if you've got any golf outings planned for dear old dad.